All right, so one day I was kind of tired, and you know, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to open up my laptop, just check on, uh, you know, how YouTube Fitness is going. You know, I'm kind of interested in bananas. I want to see if anyone's doing anything on bananas. And then Dylan was like, oh, my God, he's fucking doing a video on bananas. I was like, all right, shit, let me check this out. And this is how what he said. You're going to eat this banana right before I go to the gym because bananas make you fucking swole. And Once he said that, I was super surprised. I didn't know anabolic prop. I mean, fucking bananas had anabolic properties. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to L.A. Dylan's going to L.A. That's it. I'm going to give Dylan a banana. About 12 choppers out there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, welcome to my channel. Here we go. So, here's a little apartment tour. I haven't showered or shaved in a couple days. So, we got multiple drone batteries, uh, a mini, uh, a boosted board mini, bunch of supplements, and uh, an empty box of Evian water. We're here, and I'm pretty much uh, blended in with the wall. So, that's great. At least you can't see my 40 inch waist right now because I haven't lifted in five months. All right, moving on. This is my room. Boom. It's cool. Got um, potassium. Now we got uh, Mr. Sir's room. Crayon in the middle, drone, obviously. Sweet greens, everything is organic. You got Gymshark, organic chocolate chips, SD drives. I don't know why I just called it that. I don't know what I'm doing at all. What's going on, brother? You have a, uh... oh. I mean, oh, if you, if you take these two right here, right? And then you take it, and you go like that, and then whoosh. Just opens up in your hand, and it just falls like round. Ah! Take shoulder bands. It's not a big deal, right? It's cool. It's fine. It's gonna go like it's gonna. Oh, here, right? Uh, oh shit! That wasn't supposed to happen. Slip that. It's fine though. It's fine. Cause I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I'd be worried if I went like that, and then nothing, nothing happened. I went like that, and then nothing happened. Then I went like that, and then if I just wiggle, jiggle, jiggle it, then I'd be fucking worried because the laws of physics shattered in front of your face. Let's go work out with 185 in the Swiss machine alpha. Yeah, let's go. What's up guys? So day two of this LA series vlog. Like what is day it? 87. This oh, is it's day 87. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first time I've kind of like actually got into like filming a vlog and everything. It was the second time and we're going in. We're training legs right now. I just had some bone broth. So I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty bone good. Broth. First of all, I don't think that fully encompasses your situation. So <laughs> Ryan just kind of like did a random 100 hour fast, completely shut his test down, kind of like, ah, oh, like, all like, okay. and then I was like, oh, you want some caffeine, you want some pre-work, he's like, oh, it's like no, like, I'm fine, so he's literally over here, upper body, chest, back, completely sore, can't move around, because it's the first, like, real workout he had in a while, now we're gonna fucking cripple his legs, and we're gonna do some wheelchair shopping afterwards, and, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that, no fucking drone, golds, pretend like it's in the air, it's flying, I think your shit's overexposed, 1.37, what the f ISO is at 160, you gotta put that at 100. Yes, pretty much just like Dave was saying, we're hitting a, uh, a powerful leg day right here, so we're starting with hip thrusts, and uh, we're gonna do a couple sets of that. I actually haven't, actually, you know what, I did, I did train legs like two, I trained legs like two weeks ago, like like a couple times, I don't know, like trust me, trust me. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna go on to Bulgarian split squats, but we do have Mr. Kyroman today, like we said in the last video, so we're gonna see what he thinks of like everything that's just been going on with me, because I told you guys like I've been injured and everything, waiting for an MRI. Yeah, I don't know, I've just kind of been stuck on that, and so we're gonna, just gonna get into the workout. Lock it up. 
25s are right there though. You can just what? You can just be safe. Just go to the 25s. It's right there. Just conveniently placed for you. Safe. Fucking safe. I'm not feeling wise right now. I'm in gold. You know, young. Little ego. Kind of fun. Do something like fuck safety. Forever 17. Come on, Tom. Let's go, Big Tom. Come on, Flats. Big Long Papa. Hair. Come on, Big Papa, Tom Flats. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Get the quads. Olympia's around the corner. Come on now. Take it for a ride. Yeah, right in that teardrop. How that feel, Big Papa? Good, not a lot of weight, but like, whenever I do hamstring curls, it just tires the fuck out of me. Um, I'm gonna call the Uber times to pull in a lot, but uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, from like us talking the past few days, you seem to really have see like Dexter Jackson as like a mentor. He's kind of you know, you watched a lot of his stuff growing up, really inspirational. So, I mean, I, he's like hardly ever at gold. So, now it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to get a picture, and I think you should capitalize. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Uh, late <laughs> it's just this girl, like, she's around this area right now. It's absolutely just delicious. Oh, groceries, gentlemen. How's it going? What's going on? You ready? Absolutely. Tell me everything. Um, yeah, so pretty much, uh, I got like really, really into benching for like a good, like, I don't know, literally just like nine months. Put like 110 pounds on my one rep like, over the course of that time. And then, uh, block belt and benching, block belt. And then, uh, I started having this like pain right here when I had to come down. I felt like my chest was about to like tear. That kept getting worse, so I just stopped lifting all together. I don't know, I have less blood flow in this arm. I can't contract muscles on the right side of my body as well. So that's pretty much you know? So is he gonna live? That's the question. Oh, absolutely. All right. He's gotta get a couple, couple stripes on the bench. Uh, black belt. Yeah, it's black belt turned white right now, but we can work our way up. <laughs> In my nose, the foreground. <laughs> Your whole face is like a distorted foreground. It's like 16 mil all distorted. Let's see what's up in that nose. <laughs> you cleaning your shit? What's up? I need to get to the coracoacromial ligament, but good sir, Ryan's. Good sir. Deltoid is too jacked for me That's to awesome. get to the ligament if he contracts the arm to hold up like this. So just let me have this, please. Yeah, that, Ryan? You still got some delts. Okay, yeah. So the ligament goes from coracoid process to the acromion process. Coracoacromial ligament. Quite tight. How's it feel? Tell us. Nice. Feels good. Very nice. Yeah. Is that 16? Yeah, 16. You look like a fucking distorted fuck, but. What does that mean? Like, look, ready? Because it's so wide. See how it distorts his face? <laughs> oh my god. So, what, what else is there? Is there a 17? An 18? Oh yeah, you could you could zoom it from 16 to 35. Holy cow. But at the widest, it just looks ridiculous. I like making them look funny. It's getting adjusted. Wow, when you look back at this. <laughs> All right. Let's get serious. This is serious. We're healing. Serious. Don't laugh. You're not going to heal. Are you crying? The press oh, the hands. Yep. Fucking hands out of my fucking... <laughs> Okay, so the ligament's going this way, but it's pretty hard to get past this mountain of a deltoid. <laughs> I haven't lifted in five months, thank you. <laughs> you fuck. Big Papa deltoid. Big Daddy Yum Yum chocolate treat yeah. if you're watching. I'm actually a really nice person, I swear. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think he ended up in this situation? Muscles, lock, well, muscles lock up to protect nerves. Mm. So I think the first thing that happened was actually underneath here, it's their job to hold you back and down with your shoulder. And then if those get adhesions in them, they kind of stop working. And I think that that allowed, yeah, I think that allowed your shoulder to come, I'm going to over-exaggerate of course. I think this, it allowed this to come up and forward, which then compromised how well your shoulder blade moved in relation to the mid-back. And then I think these started overworking mm -hmm. all the nerves that come out of your neck that come down this way got stuck behind your pec 
So then I think Peck Major tightened mm -hmm. up to try and protect Fuck. the nerves that were entrapped deep to that. And then somewhere along those lines, the ligament that goes from the coracoid process, which is also a part of your shoulder blade, then the ligament gets real tight and short, pulls you even more forward, and then it just hurts. Yeah. It's a whole Harry Potter novel. With just meeting Ryan, it's it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was just karma from taking steroids. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go with what you said. So Mike Delacord's Healing Palace is located somewhere approximately in Los Angeles and approximately the Hollywoodish area. We're gonna leave all the details down in the description box if you guys want to check it out, Before set an appointment, etc. Put a social media and just basic general details of this practice. Michael, David? thank you very, Ryan, very, very you. much. Top to eat.